All right, this is bonus points time. Now, this is this is something that we've talked about, just not in the context of a CSV file, but I want to introduce a little bit of logic as we read the file itself. Now, I kind of hinted at earlier, when you output the CSV file, take a look, I'm going to go ahead and run this one. This is the CSV reader file that, that we've created. If I go ahead and F5, this out, outputs the CSV content. Now, what are those brackets? What are those right there? What are those denote? Well, these are list entries. That's a list. Those are the headers. That's the first row. That's the second row and so on. Well, lists, they're indexed. I can get access to an entry within each of these lists by the index, by a numeric value. For example, if I want to be able to get access into the department column, ID is zero, first name's one, last name's two, department is three. I can get access to that and I can just read that. Take a look. If I go back to my a CSV reader and I go down into the print of my loop, I could do bracket three, close bracket. And now if I run this, it's gonna print out just the departments. That is slick. I can get access to that list that the CSV uh, reader output, and I can do what I like with it. Now, what I want to do here, this is the bonus. I want to build a filter. I don't want to output all the records. Maybe you got thousands or hundreds of thousands of records, and I just need a subset of data from that complete CSV file. I want to get just the records that have a department of IT. I only want to see the IT department, nobody else. All right, so I get back into my script. This is a simple little change. I'm going to introduce some logic for my printing. So I'm going to say if row, well, what is it that I want to know about the row? I want to know if the index of row three, or excuse me, of the row, index three of, of the row is equal to IT. If it is, then we'll print it. If it's not, then I really don't care. Move on to the next. That's simple. So I can go ahead and save this. I'm going to go ahead and run F5. And now I'm getting just the records that are IT. You see that on the screen? Let's change that. There they are right there. I got Ron and Patrick that are both a part of the IT department. Just like that. Not much, just introducing a little bit of logic in there and understanding, hey, these are lists and I can access that list by the index. They're, they're an ordered list, they're an index list. I can do that. Try it out, little bonus points here. I didn't, I didn't ask it of you before, but just something bonus that we can do uh, just with a little bit of knowledge that we've mastered this far going through this course.